Cleaning a fountain pen is a regular part of its maintenance. But there's more to it than slowly flushing your pen, one converter full of water at a time. In this video, we'll show you converter cleaning steps, cleaning kits, cleaning solutions, and one final trick that just might surprise you. But first, if you're still new to fountain pen cleaning, go back and watch our video on how to clean a fountain pen. It'll tell you why you should clean your pen in the first place and show you some basic cleaning techniques. To recap, cleaning a fountain pen makes sure that it works exactly as it should, and you can clean your pen with nothing more than water and a little time. If you're ready to take the next step and make your pen so clean it's practically brand new, keep watching. How to clean a converter. Have you ever seen a drop of ink or water behind a converter's piston? It's not just annoying. If the ink is a different color, it might contaminate what's inside the converter. Thankfully, some converters, like the Lamy Z28, can be disassembled. Just follow these steps. 1. Remove the piston ring. Twist the converter knob to pull the piston all the way up. Use something grippy, like a jar grip, to grasp the converter's metal ring, then remove it. The ring can be either screwed on or friction fit. We recommend twisting it counterclockwise so you don't damage the threads if there are any. 2. Remove the piston mechanism. Gently pull on the converter knob to pull the piston mechanism out. Clean the piston and the ink chamber and let them dry completely. If you'd like, you can apply a small amount of silicone grease to the piston to keep it running smoothly and create a more watertight seal. 3. Reassemble the converter. Insert the piston mechanism into the converter tube and make sure that it is completely seated. Finally, replace the converter's metal ring. As a note, not all converters can be taken apart. If you start to feel like you're forcing the converter apart at any of the previous steps, you should stop or you might break the converter. How to use a cleaning kit. We've mentioned cleaning kits in our previous video, but we've added a couple more kits from Caveco and Point to our store that deserve some attention. A cleaning kit includes a specialized pipette or syringe with an opening shaped like that of a cartridge. Because this tool has a larger capacity than a converter, you can flush more water through the feed in a shorter period of time. We'll show you how to use a cleaning kit next. 1. Install the cleaning tool. Remove the cartridge or converter and insert the cleaning tool into the grip section. Make sure the syringe's plunger is all the way down, so the seal is close to the pen. 2. Flush the pen. Submerge the nib and feed in a container of clear water. Draw water into the pen by pulling on the plunger. Then, push down on the plunger to flush the inky water out. Repeat this process until the water runs clear, filling the container with fresh water as needed. The Caveco and Point cleaning items are very similar. The Caveco syringe comes with a cartridge adapter already attached, while the Point's adapter can be removed. Both syringes are compatible with most pens that accept international short size cartridges. Other cleaning kits can only be used with certain pens, so be sure to check carefully to make sure that your pen is compatible. How to use cleaning solutions. Most of the time, plain water is more than enough to clean your fountain pen. However, if you've ever forgotten about a pen filled with pigment-based ink, you know that some messes need extra help. Thankfully, cleaning solutions like the Speedball Pen Cleaner exist. To use a cleaning solution, pour some into a separate container to prevent contaminating the whole bottle. 
Then, soak the nib section in the cleaner. You can draw some of the fluid into the filling system too. Then, flush the pen with fresh water. Cleaning solutions are also included in some fountain pen cleaning kits, like those made by Platinum. But you can make your own cleaning solutions too. Don't forget to flush your pen thoroughly with clean water after using one of the following solutions. Try using a mix of a drop or two of dishwashing soap and a cup of water to clean your pen. This is a great option for dye-based inks that have sat in a pen for too long. For tough clogs, a stronger solution of one part ammonia in 10 parts water might help. Never use ammonia to clean metal pens. The ammonia can corrode aluminum, brass, and copper pieces. We don't recommend using bleach because it can damage many different materials. But you can use a very diluted solution of one part bleach to 20 parts water as a last resort. Never use acetone or rubbing alcohol to clean a pen unless you want to melt it. How to clean stained fountain pens. Sailor Shikiyori Doyo looks like your typical black ink, but it has an incredible trick up its sleeve. Did you know that this ink can remove stains from fountain pens? If you've ever stained a converter or your favorite demonstrator, try filling the pen with Doyo and leaving it overnight. Flush the ink out thoroughly and you may find that your pen is as fresh as the day you got it. This trick won't work with all inks, but hey, why not give it a shot? Fountain Pen Experts Do you have any cleaning tips to share? Let us know in the comments below. Click the link in the description to shop these items at JetPens.com, the home for stationary lovers. Use something grippy like a jar grip to grasp. Okay. Use something grippy to grasp. Grab, grippy jar grip grasp converter. Okay. And make sure that it is killing the seal. Okay. Thankfully, cleaning solutions like the Speedball Plen Cleaner. I'll do it again.